welcome to East Coast Healthcare Beers today. We're reviewing the last beer in the Beers of Summer Variety Pack by Samuel Adams. This is their Beach Session IPA. 4.7% alcohol by volume, 30 IBUs. The front says crisp and tropical. It's another seasonal beer. Comes out around summertime, summer months. I had a beer kit pulled up here. Score on Beer Advocate, 84 for good. Style, Pale Ale, American. Um, so, uh, Beer Advocate's calling this a Pale Ale. Sammy Adams called it an IPA. Low ABV, so I understand why they're calling it a Pale Ale. So, uh, yeah, 4.7%. Yep. From Boston Beer Company, also known as Sammy Adams, from Massachusetts, United States. Availability is rotating size seasonal, like I said. Around the summertime is when this variety pack comes up. I believe it used to be called uh, Sips. Sips of Summer Variety Pack. I believe they changed the name to Beers of Summer Variety Pack. And uh, yeah, we're gonna crack this open. Go for the appearance of the beer. Got my Samuel Adams bottle opener. Perfect pour bottle opener. I really do like that. It's honestly probably been the best bottle opener that I've had. And I got my uh, Samuel Adams Perfect Pour glass. Let's uh, go for the pour. Check out the color of this one, guys. Go for the appearance. Slightly hazy, hey golden, it's another golden one. Slightly hazy golden color. Decent head on this one, probably the best head out of all the beers, about a finger ahead. Doesn't look like it's dissipating as uh, much as the other beers did. Um, looks like it's gonna leave a nice lace on the glass as well. Nose? Yeah, it smells actually pretty good. Kinda smells like a uh, New England IPA. With the amount of tropical, fruity aroma I'm getting. Orange. Like citrusy orange. Pineapple. Pineapple mango. A little bit of a uh, Pine hop resin. Definitely more on the fruity, citrusy, tropical side. Not getting as much hops compared to like other IPAs. Like West Coast style IPAs. That's why I say it kind of smells like a New England IPA in my opinion. It smells pretty good. Like you said, fruity, tropical, citrusy. Some white bread. Sweet malt. It smells pretty good. So, uh, go for a taste on this one, guys. Nice bitterness on the finish. Nice uh, hop resin, floral, grassy finish. Carbonation on this one's pretty good as well. I'd say another. Say like medium carbonation, not as carbonated as the other ones, but up front, like orange peel. It's actually kind of got like a little bit of like a tart, sour finish to it, kind of lingers. And it's citrusy, that citrusiness or citrus flavor kind of lingers throughout. A little bit of pineapple mango but they're kind of muted um a little bit of grapefruit on the finish as well white bread decent multi backbone definitely a light version of a pale ale um in my opinion it doesn't really taste like an ipa like i said it does kind of taste like a pale ale um nowhere as near as bitter and grassy and floral as like sierra nevada pale ale It is really good, though, in my opinion. Um, this is definitely one of the better ones from the variety pack. This honestly might be my favorite in the variety pack. Um, for someone who doesn't really like hoppy, bitter beers, it might be a little too hoppy and bitter for you. Uh, but someone like me, who does really enjoy hoppy, bitter beers, 
IPAs. I actually really do like this. Like I said, this one actually might be my favorite out of the variety. Um, definitely a lighter style, lighter version of the style. I kind of wish it was more tropical. I wish I had a little bit more of that pineapple and mango. Like I said, they're kind of muted. More citrusy, a little bit of grapefruit. So yeah, like uh, citrus and grapefruit and a little bit of like pine resin on the finish. Mouth feels definitely light to medium, still very light. Um, I think that's what they're shooting for with these. Uh, all lighter versions of the style or light beer styles. Um, Someone who really enjoys IPAs might be a little bit disappointed with this, like I said, because it's not as tropical and citrusy as you'd expect it to be. I think the uh, the hops are actually pretty good, in my opinion. I think it's got a good enough uh, bitterness for what it is, for something that you're, so, you're pretty much, this variety pack is definitely meant to sit outside, hot summer days, you got a cookout going. Um, maybe you normally drink light beers and you want to switch it up, try to check out some of these craft beer styles. Um, yeah, carbonation is definitely medium. I do like it. I enjoy it. For a rating, I'm going to give this one a... I'm going to give it an 80. For an IPA, it's very drinkable. It's very crushable. I can see myself outside, like I said, maybe uh, caught in the lawn or something, um, doing some yard work. Um, this would be a nice... Uh, crushable IPA if you don't want something too filling um, but it's also kind of muted in the IPA aspect of it and uh, the variety pack as a whole I do enjoy all the beers from the variety pack um, like I said uh, usually Samuel Adams beers aren't amazing but they're they're pretty good they're pretty straightforward um, I think they're meant for people to kind of uh, drift off from those uh, lighter beers like Miller Lite, Coors Light, and uh, kind of open you up to something like this. This still might be a little too um, bitter for some people. For uh, Cyclops scale, it's kind of sweet. I'd say like two, maybe two and a half out of five sugar cubes uh, with that citrusy tropical flavor. And then the bitterness, I could, I would say it's like two and a half going towards three. Um, it's definitely enough bitterness that someone who doesn't really like IPAs might say it's really bitter and they don't enjoy it. But it's not that lingering, dry, bitter, grassy finish um, that you kind of look for in an IPA. Which, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what they're kind of going for. I think maybe if they... I, this beer does fit well in the variety pack, but I was thinking maybe like more of a New England style IPA that they would throw in that variety pack. People would probably enjoy more. Kind of lower the bitterness, add some more citrusy, tropical, fruity flavor to it. I think it would go very well with the people who are going to be picking that up. I think they would probably enjoy it a little bit more. This one is just uh, a little bit... It, it's a little different compared to the other ones. Like I said, someone who doesn't really like craft beer, doesn't really like hoppy bitter beers, this might be their least favorite. Like I said, though, super crushable for an IPA. Um, I would definitely pick up the variety pack again. Like I said, if I'm going to a cookout, hanging out outside, um... This might open up to some people to start enjoying IPAs. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It's just kind of middle of the road for me. I do wish it had more of that fruity tropical flavor. I think Sam Yonams usually has kind of beers that are lighter in the style. And some people might not even consider them craft. 
um, because they are very light and uh, they're kind of mediocre in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, there you have it. If there's anything else that you guys like to see on my channel, definitely leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Like a beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.